Hello, I'm Carl from Bisquid. Welcome to this tutorial in which we will show you how you can create and edit terrains in a Bisquid engine. Let's start out by opening the terrain tool. The terrain tool is part of the level editor, which I have already opened, as you can see. But let's go up to the toolbar up here and find this little uh, icon with the little hill on. This is the terrain tool icon. Let's click that. As you see right now, everything is grayed out in this toolbar. This is because we're currently not editing any terrain. Let's create a new terrain by pressing the new button in the toolbar. This brings up this dialog where we can set certain settings for the uh, terrain. For example, we can set the, the size in meters. This is the how big the, uh, the terrain will be in the level. We can also set the resolution of the, the height map. Uh, that is the texture that uh, represents the terrain in the engine. And uh, increasing this will increase the detail level of the uh, terrain. But the, setting this to a too high value might uh, cost you performance wise. But let's, let's just uh, accept these default options and click create. It will now ask us where to save the terrain unit. Let's just save it here and call it tutorial. So here is our new flat terrain. As you can see in the toolbar, we now have more options available. First off, we have these brushes. The brushes decide how you paint on the terrain. Uh, we also have a couple of paint modes over here. The paint modes decide on what you paint. So for example, the first brush here, the pencil brush, uh, lets us uh, raise and lower the terrain as well as paint textures onto it. The paint mode selected by default is paint height. This lets us raise and lower the actual terrain. Let's try this default brush and paint mode out. By performing a stroke with the left mouse button held down, I just raise the terrain. Let's move the camera around a bit. <coughs> I can also lower the terrain by pressing and holding the control key while performing a stroke with the left mouse button. So with this brush we can just paint height and lower. And there's also undo reader support so now I press control Z and you can see that it removes the things I have painted. Let's have a look at another brush. This is the smooth brush and like advertised it will smooth out the terrain. There is also a flatten brush which will flatten to the same height as where you clicked. Now, uh, let's have a look at how you can paint textures directly onto the terrain. There are four buttons here. These are different texture layers. Um, by default, there is a texture assigned to each of these. A red, on, the, on the bottom layer, which is called the red layer, there is a red texture. And on the ne next layer, which is the green layer, there is a green texture, and etc. Let's choose the pencil brush and the red texture layer, and then just perform a stroke. You see that it paints a red checker texture. We can also paint with other texture layers like this green one, etc. The brushes in the terrain tool have some properties which you can change. So if we work with the red texture layer, 
we can use the scroll wheel to increase and decrease the size of the brush like this you can see now it will paint over a very large area it is also possible to change the strength of the brush you do this by pressing and holding the shift key while scrolling the mouse wheel so now you see in the lower left corner that it says that the strength is very low so now i get a very subtle change when i perform strokes and there's also a thing called fall off which i change by pressing and holding the control key and scrolling with the mouse wheel this changes how hard or soft the brush is Now, in a real game, you probably don't want just color checker textures. It's possible to change the textures on the texture layers to any texture you like. Let's try this out. Let's go to the Move tool. And then click on the terrain, make sure that it's selected. Right click and choose Open Material. And this is the name of my terrain here. This will pop up the material editor. From here we can specify which texture is assigned to each layer. So the red layer has currently has a red checker texture assigned to it, but we could choose anything. So let's just pop up this texture browser and search for something like moss. Maybe this. Let's choose this one. And you can see in the level editor how this immediately is reflected. Let's save this and close it. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.